I'm trying to platinum every game I own. I just finished the GTA trilogy, so the next game I'm doing is... Released in 2008, developed by Rockstar North, GTA 4 is commonly known as the most underrated GTA game. And it's also the first GTA game to have a multiplayer, which means multiplayer trophies, which I've never had to do. And with the game not having any remasters or any other ways to play on newer consoles, it means I have to play on the PS3 and pray that people are still playing online 15 years later. So I don't even know if this platinum is possible, but we're gonna find out because the first trophy is off the boat, where we meet up with our cousin Roman and drive to his mansion. This is the mansion. The mansion is coming, cousin. Now you're probably wondering what the time is for, and that's for the trophy Liberty City Minute, where we have to complete the story in under 30 hours. And if we don't finish the story in 30 hours, we have to play the entire story again. So this trophy will be looming over us until we complete the story mode in hopefully 30 hours. Warm Coffee is the next trophy where you have to get invited to your girlfriend's house to have a uh, lovely conversation. I shouldn't, but I like you. Let's go! Tell me interesting things! Oh, please, more! Tell me more! And that's where I would've got the trophy. You get the trophy fed the fish by completing the mission Uncle Vlad, where we have to chase after Vlad and game end him. <laughs> oh, he did the utopia thing! Fed the fish. Now, driving Mr. Bellic is the first missable trophy, where you have to get Roman to like you above 60%, where he'll let you use his car service. And because I got this trophy back in 2013, I was all good. And the only other two trophies that I got back in 2013 were two multiplayer trophies, but we'll get to them later, where we move on to the first trophy I got during this Platinum run, which was Wheelie Rider, where I was curious what the six axis tutorial was and accidentally did a 500 foot wheelie. Wheelie Rider. Well, that's a weird trophy. That's the first trophy I've gotten. I'm not using this shit, by the way. This shit is hot ass. The next trophy I was going for is... Okay, I guess the next trophy is 180. We have to score, you guessed it, 180 in one turn. Me, 180! That was very easy. <laughs> Lowest point is a story mission trophy you get by completing the mission Russian Revolution, where Dimitri tries to kill us, and we luckily escape with the help of little Jacob. After we escape, we go find Roman and find out Dimitri has burnt down our apartment and Roman's taxi business. I've got nothing left! Not my home, not my business, nothing! Lowest point. I didn't know that was a mission for a trophy where we uh, lost everything. The trophy walk free you get by successfully losing four stars, which I accidentally got by entering the airport. After using my insane driving skills to get away. I'm making that shit. Yeah, I didn't make that shit. <laughs> we lost the four stars. Walk free. Oh yeah, very nice. Now the next trophy I got was... Cousin, you want to shoot some pool? Okay, so I guess we're getting the pool shark trophy, where all you have to do is win a game of pool, which is something I did very easily. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, this is where I lose my mind gaming. I am lined up. <laughs> fuck! This is literally a gimme. I am going to fuck this up. Just kidding. Get the fuck in! Fuck you, Roman. Let's go. First try. Yeah, damn right. Pool shark. First try. Let's go. Finally, bro. Holy, I'm gonna lose it. The next trophy, It'll Cost Ya, is a very easy trophy. We have to complete a taxi ride from one island to another without skipping. Now, this is a very easy trophy, unless you're me. Alert. This is more serious than the Red High 7 list alert, but not as serious as the recently created Cox Severe. Hell what the no, fuck? Anytime today. You're telling me, brother. Drive the damn taxi. What is happening? And he drove past my stomach. Holy shit, that was terrible. It'll cost you. It, it definitely will. Might have been the hardest trophy so far. The next trophy, Retail Therapy, you get by getting little Jacob's like rating to 75%. And you do this by taking him around the town doing different activities. And because it's GTA, I took him to a very special place, which we did what any man would do in this situation, play an arcade machine. Oh. And it turns out I couldn't do this with Jacob. So we quickly finished up, took Jacob back home, went back to the Triangle Club to get the trophy King of the Cube. We have to try and break the high score of this 3D Tetris-like game. This was very fun. I ended up doubling the high score and staying there for an hour. King of the Cube. That one? Oh, there you go. Fuck me. I was... 
<laughs> Under the radar. Hell yeah. Because I already had six stars, I decided to try and do the one man army trophy. We have to survive six stars for five minutes, which oh, turned oh. out to be pretty easy if you're in a helicopter. Oh, okay. The hunters are out. Just sending them on a wild goose chase, man. They can't catch me. I would have thought, because, you know, San Andreas had fighter jets, like they'd send someone out. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Oh my god, they just started shooting at me. One man army. That was very easy. Trophies are flying in. That's a nice little twofer. Now, I had originally got six stars because I flew over the third island, which I didn't unlock yet. Which is funny because the next trophy I got is full exploration, which you get by unlocking the third island after completing the mission Three Leaf Clover, where you and some buddies rob a bank. And after fighting through the streets, you escape through the subway tunnel. Ooh. I was hoping I'd get a nice chunk of change for robbing a bank. Full exploration. Oh, did I unlock everything? Oh, it's all unlocked. Impossible Trinity is another story mission trophy you get by completing the mission museum piece, where a diamond deal goes south very quickly. After using some speedrun tactics, we escaped and completed the mission. Impossible Trinity, another trophy. I'm nice. Now I've been completing missions at a pretty good pace. Apparently not fast enough. With only 10 hours left, we need to get a move on. Because at this rate, it looks like we're going to have to play the entire story again. Which I don't want to do, so the next- Cousin, it is your cousin. Let's go bowling. No, we don't have time. Sure, bowling sounds good. God damn it. No! 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 So the next trophy is Gobble Gobble. We have to get three strikes in a row. And why did I think this was going to be easy? Oh, bang! Oh, that's one. This is huge. Fuck! Oh! All right, hold on. We, we might have figured something out. Oh my god. Just give me two. Roman, not the time, bro. Oh, fuck yes. All right, dialed. Oh, okay. This could be it. Holy. But I'm thinking. Put it down the lane. Fuck! Oh. That was the closest I think I'll ever get. Ooh! I'm, I'm getting them constantly now. I think I figured something out. I've got to stop saying I fucking figured things out. I need to stop saying it. Bang! Here we go. I haven't figured anything out. I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought that was going to work. Oh, bro, I actually don't think I'll ever get this. Let's fucking go. Full! Yes! Yes! Okay, come on. Come on. Nothing to it. Let's fucking go! Oh my god. That only took... Gobble, gobble, gobble... Gobble, gobble Ds, huh? Who do you think you are? I am! That, that was hard. That was the hardest trophy I've had to get. I'll take you home, bro. Never ask me to play fucking bowling again. Now, thankfully, that only took two... Two hours? Okay, we need to hurry up with the trophy gracefully taken. We have to kidnap our mob boss's daughter. And to do that, we answered a Facebook marketplace ad for her car, where we test drive it and subtly kidnap her. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. Where she actually goes peacefully. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, okay. Okay, bitch. Okay, relax. I said stay calm. Ah! I'm gonna make you crash this thing. Yeah, you are. You are. You are making me crash this thing. <laughs> this is in... Oh, this is actually impossible. Oh! <laughs> Slumber. All right. Gracefully taken. All like dragged across the road. Holy. The trophy that special someone you get by completing the mission that special someone. Well, we finally come face to face with the man who got all our friends killed for the huge sum of a thousand. A thousand dollars. Where we get given a choice. Oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna choose. That was nuts. That special someone. Damn. Should be close to the end now, I think. Oh, I think surely, right? Well, I hope so, because we need the trophy you won in the next two hours. Otherwise, we're going to have to play this entire story mode again. And you get the trophy for completing the mission one last thing, which we get asked to do a job for Dimitri. You know, the guy who's been trying to kill us the whole game and burn down Roman's apartment and taxi business. So we call Roman and Roman wants us to work for him again to get more money. Now I have a better apartment and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again. What? Roman. And still unsure, we call up Kate, our girlfriend, and she tells us, I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. And then the game tells us, 
Oh, I just got fucking goosebumps, bro. I'm a man of vengeance. Fuck the money. Oh, wait. The text about Vice City kind of got me thinking, man. Oh, I am torn. The money or I killed Dimitri? The money or I killed Dimitri? Oh, I killed Dimitri. And after doing that, Roman got married and we lived happily ever after. Well, most of us. Okay, so the new mission is killing Pegorino. After a cool chase scene. What the fuck? Yeah! We game end Pegorino and Roman tells us. We won, man. We won. Doesn't feel like it. I, we did win. Half a million too. Let's go. Oh, did I do it in 30 hours? No, I didn't do it in 30 hours. What a great game. That is so underrated. But now I have to fucking play it again. Oh, damn it. I literally thought I was good. So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. Oh my God. I just got the biggest goosies. A Liberty City Minute. Oh shit, we did it. Oh, we had plenty of fucking time. Easy. And now, onto everything else. With the story completed, I wanted to get a few trophies done before we move into the multiplayer trophies. Starting with Assassin's Greed. We have to complete all seven telephone assassination missions. Ooh, Assassin's Greed. Are they allowed to do that? That's a Ubisoft game. This next trophy, Sightseer, is one of the hardest trophies on GTA 4, with only 1.1% of players earning. We have to do the grueling task of going on five helicopter tours around Liberty City. These cost 150 bucks per pop, man. They ain't cheap. Sightseer. Oh, another hard trophy in the bag, man. You get the trophy courier service for delivering 10 packages for little Jacob, where you get in his nice car and then drive to the person you have to deliver it to in a certain amount of time. Sometimes the deals go smoothly and sometimes they don't. Courier service. <laughs> Hog. The next trophy you get by doing 10 counters in under four minutes. Counters are basically when someone throws a punch, you dodge it, and then attack them back. And as you can see, I had no issues at all. Uh, I'm guessing I'm spending a night at the hospital. Ah, my tenth kill this year. What? Six. I'm getting knocked out at the park. Seven. Eight. Nine. Finish him! Finally! God damn it! For the chain reaction trophy, you have to blow up 10 cars in 10 seconds. So I thought going to the busiest street in Liberty City only made sense. What? Why did they just despawn? Wait. And I killed myself. Very cool. Chain reaction. Okay, why was that easier when I didn't try fucking stop traffic? Now it's time for the multiplayer trophies. Now the only trophies I had from 2013 were Let Sleeping Rockstars Lie and Cut Your Teeth, where you have to kill someone who already has this achievement and just earn a rank up in multiplayer, which leaves us with eight multiplayer trophies to get. But there's a problem. Since the game came out back in 2008, the online servers are dead. Working, but they're dead. Occasionally you'll get into lobbies with one or two people, but they'll either leave or sit there waiting for the lobby to fill. Now this wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to get the trophy wanted, where I have to to get max rank level 10 and to do that you need to get five million dollars i also have to win every single game mode available in gta 4 online for the off widishin the petrovic trophy and with the servers being how they are that is impossible meaning i have no chance at getting this platinum unless i was to buy three ps3s three copies of gta 4 and set up a land party and force my friends to come grind out these trophies with me and that's exactly what I did. And for the first trophy, top of the food chain, you need to get 10 pistol kills in a death match. Let's do it. Let's get a fucking trophy, boys. I just shot you through the wall. Top of the food chain. Let's go. That's the first trophy, boys. Woo! For the trophy, top of the midnight club. Um, we have to do 20 races. What? And not only do 20 races, we have to win 20 races. And don't worry, my friends weren't letting me win. I was winning purely on skill. 
<laughs> Nick, you suck. You are literal shit. You are. <laughs> I'm never letting you win again. <laughs> Made a mistake that was. Beating, 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 beating me by what 10 seconds. I think one of the trophies is finishing a race without getting damaged, and I don't think I've been able to do that for the three races we've done. And that trophy is called Join the Midnight Club. And the only way I got this trophy was because no one knew what the fastest motorbike was, except for me. Join the Midnight Club. Another trophy, boys. Let's go. Uh, and now back to the 20 races. <laughs> Nick had enough time to role play and park on the side of the road. Are we serious? Oh. No, you have to let me win. You have to let me win. Wait, I didn't hit the checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all right. Watch this comeback. What do you mean, watch this comeback? People are letting you win. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Watch this comeback, man. Oh, there you go. That's, that's it. You got it? Yeah. Let's go. Another trophy. We then started to chip away at the Petrovic trophy, where we went down the list completing mafia work. I gotta, I gotta throw this at Nathan, god damn it. Carjack City and GTA race. Let's go. You oh, yeah. This is This is real fun. Getting dubs 24-7. Yeah. I'm lost today. We then got to the team game, which have two trophies attached to them. Taking it for the team, where we have to win every team-based mode. And team player, where we have to kill five different players on a team deathmatch that are on the opposite team. Basically meaning we can't boost this trophy, as we only have three extra people when we need two more. So we're going to have to come back to this trophy a little later on. I what to do then. On that one. Buy another two PSRs. <laughs> that's it, like, that's probably the only fucking way, really. Well, we can still get the trophy taking it for the team, so we completed up Team Mafia work and finished off Team Carjack City. Killing it. Oh, taking it for the team. What? What? Oh, that is that one. I did not know that was gonna pop. Going back to work on the Petrovic trophy, a random found our lobby, but we moved on with Cops and Crooks. Wait, all the traffic lights? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be crooks, man, but we're not criminals. <laughs> <laughs> we then smash our turf war. <laughs> you are not shooting my body. You are not doing that. Oh yeah, that should be it, right? Wait, it says oh, it says race all 54 tracks. And it's also 54 more for the GTA races, totaling a massive 108 races we have to do. But we'll do that later because right now we're focusing on the trophy, Fly the Co-op, where we have to do Deal Breaker, Hangman's Noose, and Bond the Base 2, all faster than the times that the devs set. So to get this trophy, I'm gonna need a really skilled team who are always on the same page to get this done quick. And unfortunately, I didn't have that. Bro, get in. I'm trying, you're in All the right. way! Go around. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> now Nathan's driving. <laughs> For deal breaker, you need to drive all the way to the end of the map, clear out a power plant full of enemies. Oh uh, my god. Go boys. Then splitting off into two teams. One team follows the bikers and the other team destroys the boat that spawns out in the ocean. Then after that, you need to drive all the way back to where you started to complete the mission in under seven minutes and three seconds. And our first run was actually really close, coming in at a huge 12 minutes and four seconds. We have a lot of time to cut off. And to do that, I'd split off at the start and get a helicopter. So you got this. Easy. I just ran into a post. <laughs> so then, when we split off into two teams, after we destroy the boat, we can fly back to the extraction point where the other two game in themselves and run out of lives. That way, ending the mission quicker. Now, this strat had a lot of getting used to. So we, we should have been finished by now. Get him, Nate. Get him. Hey. Get him. My helicopter broke. Nate, you gotta kill that boat. Oh. You got one. Yes, you got him. Oh, no. Nah, just got here in time. And he's got the, the weight of the whole fucking run on his shoulders right now. <laughs> no. Do you get that boat? We get this easy. We get that. What I'll do is park my shit and come try help you with that. It's a pretty good idea. Oh, yeah, it does pop up. No. Okay. Fuck, man. That was probably the best run out of all of them because I was down there with Nath. Come on, boys. Come on, Nath. Me and Nath. Fuck sake, bro. How, how can we kill this shit? We gotta, we ha fucking have this. I got it, I got it. Nate, 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 it's done, it's done. Get in. Oh, we're good. We're not good yet. It's all right, take your time, take your time. You got, you got it. I done. We're literally here with a minute. Yes! You've done it! Yeah, yeah. Woo! Can you kill yourself in time? No, I don't know. Did you die once? No. Come on, <laughs> come on. I don't think you can. Yeah, I can. It's usually 10 seconds. Is that it? No, one more. Oh fuck, it's gonna be so close. Yes! Totally! Game hasn't finished yet. We're in, right?
Wait, you came up, you came up, sorry. Oh, this is time! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh Seven my god! 59. Oh my god! <laughs> the boys have done it! Half a fucking second! With Deal Breaker's record broken, we moved on to bomb the base. Where you have to hijack a security car, get in a helicopter and fly across the map to a ship, but you need to plant two explosives and blow up the ship. All under 5 minutes and 34 seconds. Now the two biggest time savers for this one is landing the helicopter up at the first bomb, and then doing a glitch for the second bomb to get below deck without spawning any enemies. But with our first run clocking in over 13 minutes, we had our work cut out for us. Alright, that's the smoothest we've been- <laughs> no, you can't. I destroyed. Wait, everyone jumped out. I think that's a that's a restart. Get the fuck in the car! <laughs> Holy shit! It was in the end. Twelve seconds to get All in the right. car, man. I'm through the city. Oh my god, oh, frame rate. Wait, we got lag. Oh my god, <laughs> frame rate. We might be going too fast. Yeah, are you, too why fast. are you guys jumping out there? What do you mean we have to- I'm gonna yeah, park it! We have to jump out before. Why? Instead, just hover it over instead of fucking flying over. Oh, that's weird. Me and Nathan are literally up top. Yeah. That's so strange. Find that shit. Is anyone in the glitch spot? I'm planning it as well! <laughs> I can't move! Yeah, he's in. Got it. Um, he's Nathan, in. off. Get off, get off the boat. We are nice. Five minutes? We are nice! Five minutes? Let's go! We fucked up. <laughs> After smashing that time, we only had one time to beat, and that was Hangman's Noose. We need to hold off waves of SWAT, get transportation for Petra. Oh, it's the guy from the trophy! And drive with six stars all the way to the extraction. Our first run was six minutes and 29 seconds, but we have to get that down to two minutes and 32 seconds. And to do that, one person drives off and gets a helicopter and waits by the extraction point. This activates the extract, meaning the other team can go get the other helicopter and crash straight into the point, ending the mission instantly, saving a bunch of time. 30 seconds. Right there. Right on me. Down, 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 down. Yeah! Oh! You just, you just collected me up. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. Wait. Wait. Yeah! 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 You got it. I got it too. Let's go! That's done! Fly the Cobb. I think that's like the hardest trophy in the whole fucking thing. Now with Fly the Cobb done, the only multiplayer trophies we have left is Team Player that I can't do now, as we need two other people, the Wanted Trophy, which I don't even want to think about right now, and the Petrovic Trophy, which for that we have 34 normal races to do and 54 GTA races to do. So we got to work, race after race, slowly chipping away at the huge amount of races we had to do in front of us. And I want to make it known that we started grinding these trophies at midday, with very minimal breaks. So a whole 12 hours later, we had our first casualty. Good game, boys. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for the help. It was fun. It was actually fun until we had to do races. <laughs> and finally, at 1 a.m., we had finished all of the normal races. So all of the races done now, just have to do 54 more. The same races. Gross. Hope you enjoy that. Shut the fuck up, miss. It is 1.18. You got home. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh shit, it's very going home. You're not actually gonna play 54 races. We played 54 GTA races. And then there was two. <laughs> <laughs> so all that was left was me and Nate, and we pushed through. We wanted to see that Ulf Wiedersen Petrovic trophy pop tonight. Now, this was honestly the most grueling task I've ever done for a video. We had played GTA 4 from 12 p.m. all the way until 6 a.m. in the morning, with the last six hours being things we have already done, just with the name GTA next to it. Watching all this time go by now like it's nothing, well, no Knowing me and Nathan struggled through every single second of this kind of hurts to watch. We're in the eighth race. That's why you just said we had like five left. I don't know. I'm scared now. But after six hours of doing GTA races and on top of playing 18 hours of GTA that day, we had finally finished all GTA races for the Petrovic trophy. Holy shit, dude. We started playing at 12 p.m. and now 6 a.m. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my god, please. This better pop. I might die. It doesn't pop. He's gonna get to the next Please. It's not popping. Oh. It's not popping. That's actually so infuriating, that didn't pop. I'm just too tired to express it. <laughs> With no way to check, the only way I can get this trophy is if we go back through the list playing every single game mode. And technically, the last six hours was for nothing. In a last minute scramble, we hopped into a lobby and tried to think what we might have missed. But we actually found people. This is our last hope. Otherwise, we ain't getting it today. I can't believe we just found three fucking people. There's five of us. Aren't you the host? Yeah. 
You're the host. I'll put Team Deathmatch on. And then, and then, yeah. No, let's fucking do it. Yes. Dude, what a fucking play. So we switched the lobby to Team Deathmatch, forcing people to help us to get the trophy team player. Is that it? Oh, oh my God. Nothing's fucking popping. No oh, popped! Team player! Team player! It's not for nothing! It's not for nothing! Let's ah. fucking go! Oh, thank God, though. That one's done. At least I got a trophy after all of this. And unfortunately, we'll have to take the L on the Petrovic trophy and come back to it. Unless... Oh, wait. Deathmatch. I wasn't... I... The deathmatch we did, I... Nick won. I wasn't the top. Because you... Oh, you uh, were yeah, just getting the, the pistol top. kills. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's run it. Get in, a, get in a game. This could be it, Nate. We could. Dude, if we get all of the trophies except for the fucking wanted one, that's fucking goaded. Oh my god. We've come alive at 6 a.m. <laughs> at 7 a.m. Yeah? Do we continue? Oh! We did it! We did it! No way we did it! Oh my god! Fuck me! We did it! Oh my! That took too long to pop, by the way. That that, that delay was insane. We did it, Nath. Oh my god! Just left is the wanted trophy. It's currently. 6.42 a.m. With all of the multiplayer trophies done except for the wanted trophy, we can actually call the first land trophy session a huge success. Unless you're my mental or physical health, then a huge failure. I felt like death. But we still have the massive grind of the wanted trophy left to do. So we'll come back to the wanted trophy later. But for now, we're getting started on some single player trophies like the trophy cleaned the mean streets. While in a police car opening up the police console that has the tab current crimes where you need to kill 20 criminals. I've become a vigilante. Clean the mean streets. That is 20 vigilante things done. And now we have to do the most wanted one. The trophy manhunt is basically the same as clean the mean streets, except you have to go to the most wanted tab in the console, where each island has a list of 10 criminals, ranging from car chases to killing pass out homeless people. After you do all 10 for all three islands, you get the trophy. Is that it? It is manhunt. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm so tired from doing the multiplayer stuff. Oh my God. My eyes feel like they're falling out two days later. Whatever. The trophy genetically superior, you have to win tw 20 races. More fucking races. God damn it. After this trophy, I genuinely never want to do a GTA 4 race ever again. Finally. That should be it. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm so done with races. Genetically superior. Uh, the trophy, let's go home. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> For the trophy, that's how we roll. You need to get Brucey to like you above 70%. And I was actually... Oh, 1% off. Fuck. So we went speedboating and he gave me a call. And that's it. There we go. That's how we roll. Brucey trophies done. Dial B for Bomb is another special ability unlock where you need to get Patrick McCreary to like you over 75%. So we went and played some pool, saw Ricky Gervais, and then he gave us a call. That'll be for bomb, baby. Hell yeah. Now, Liberty City 5 is another friendship-related trophy. We need to get five friends over 90% like rating. So I went out with Brucey, Ooh. went out with Dwayne, and we got the trophy. Is it 90%? Is that all five? It is! Liberty City 5. Uh, your friends all like you above 90%. Very poggers, baby. I still have a lot to do. Fuck's sake, man. That multiplayer grind has fucked me. For the trophy, no more strangers. You need to meet all random characters around Liberty City. What are you doing out here so late? What's it do you Wait, that's it? Nothing. That's where I had more to do. No more strangers. Met them all. Aha! Almost done the single player trophies, poggers, baby. Wait, wait. The next trophy, You Got the Message, is similar to the car export trophies that are over in the GTA trilogy. Except rather than looking at a board, you receive the location of the cars via text message. And once you get all 30 cars that are scattered around Liberty City... Oh, there you go. You got the message. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I'm over this game. Now, Order Fulfilled is almost the exact same trophy as the last one, except this time you get the location of the cars sent through email. At least for this one, you only need to get 10 cars and the locations are added to your minimap. And that's 10, baby! 
Lock Order fulfilled. So I don't know how many trophies there are left, but there ain't that many, I don't think. We're at 90% as well for the 100% trophy. For rolled over, you need to roll your car over five times from one crash. Now, this is pretty hard to do from just doing a jump. So we went to a special place located on the map. The swing set of death. Here we are. Probably where I spent most of my hours playing this game back in 2013. And hopefully, this should get me the trophy. Okay, well, that didn't go to plan. Damn it. Hit send the car and not me. Oh, I stayed in. I stayed in. Surely. Surely. Nothing? Oh, there we go. Rolled over. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get a look at the car. Oh my god. For the trophy Daredevil, you need to complete all 50 stun jumps that are located around Liberty City. Oh my god. And that's... Daredevil. Thank god that didn't take all day. That took me all day. Two more trophies to get. Fucking... Hurry up, get this shit over with. Now, unfortunately, I can't hold this trophy off for much longer. Wanted. But we need to get $5 million on GTA 4 Online. We have 4.7 million to go. But lucky for us, a couple of years ago, Rockstar turned on double cash, which means the grind for this trophy is now cut in half. And thank God there's a glitch. For the glitch, you only need two people, and it takes us back to Bomb the Base, where if you kill the sniper up top of the boat and hit R3 instantly, you now control oh. the spawns of the sniper up top. And every time we hit R3, it spawns the sniper again. So if our partner takes us on the motorbike up to the spawn point, we then can camp the sniper. Now, I'm not going to show too much of it because it's very seizure inducing. Yeah, it's not really great on the eyes and you have to do that for a lot of hours because you get $100 per kill. So that means we needed 22,000 kills. It wasn't too hard. Sometimes the glitch failed, but pretty much doing this for two days got us the trophy. $542 left. And that's it. Rank increased. Level 10, wanted. Oh my God, that's all the multiplayer trophies done. Ooh wee. It only took about a thousand seizures and uh, two days of no sleeping. Holy blessed that it's over. But we are level 10 now. Now the only trophy we have left is endangered species, which will give us 100%. For the trophy, you need to kill 200 pigeons that are located around the map. Now after about two days of hunting them down, we got to the last one. One left. 53 hours playing time. What a game. Oh my god. Doesn't feel like I'm about to get it. 100% game completion. Key to the city. Which means... Platinum Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh my god. What a journey this has been. Taking a liberty. Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below of games you want to see me platinum. Go check out my Twitch and my second channel. I'll be streaming on both. Thank you again to the boys for helping me on the multiplayer trophy, and I'll see you in the next video where I still will go bowling with Roman.